2022 is ending on a blustery wet note. And not my favourite sort of start to the day because Michael and Ruth are leaving and I have to go downstairs to say goodbye. Have, have some cake. I can't believe you made this. You're amazing. And this is the epiphany cake, yes. the Galette des Rois. And as you can see, it's got frangipani in. It looks so good. I, you made it from scratch. Yeah. And there's always a little charm hidden inside. Uh, I Did might, you find a charm? I might have gone sl slightly overboard on the little charms. How many little charms did you put in? Everyone's a winner. You're supposed to put one little charm because that way one person becomes the king or queen for the day. I know, but I believe in democracy. So last night, Philip and I were out with his parents, which is why I didn't get to try the cake last night. I'm so excited. I can already see a little charm. <laughs> Who did you get? What did you get? Panoramics. Very cute. Do you know him as Panoramics? I think that's what he's got written on him. Yes. Panoramics. Uh, the English version is Get a Fix. Why is he called Get a Fix? Because he's the, the potion maker. Oh, nice. Oh, these are the ones that were found last night. Yes. You've Everyone's a winner. The Magic Cauldron. Oh, there's a Magic Cauldron. Who got that? My mum. It was delicious. It's really I must say, sweet. I remember when you bought it in the yes. bakery three years ago or something. Yeah. We had the crown and everything. But I think Michael... It was best, though, but better than the oh, bakery. Oh, best one yet. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. need about 20 crowns for his plan. Every single person is a winner. Yeah. My one might have more alcohol in it than the um, the traditional one. Yours is much sweeter, too. It's a kind of jam in yours. So this one is a, a layer of, of pastry covered in apricot jam. Mm. Then there's the almond caster sugar egg mix. Butter. Something's butter. telling me butter. A lot of butter. And rum. Mm. Um, and then another layer of, of pastry on top. So it's Epiphany Cake, the better version. Mm, yes, it's the, the slightly grown up version of, of Epiphany Cake. Yeah. So you're celebrating New Year in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. Say hi to everyone for Will me. do. Will do. Everyone's going to be there. Oh, by the way, I should probably explain the strangeness of my early morning hairstyle. I received this gift from Wendy Grimwood and apparently it's a way of curling hair. It's like one long squidgy curler that you wrap up on top of your head. So later, we're gonna see if it works. This is my first time trying it. Whopper chopper. That's crazy. It is the smallest car in the world. And the most luggage in the world. <laughs> I think you've been here, what, 10 days? You must have done really well. Stephanie, <laughs> look at that. Have you got no sense? You were born with. Get back. <laughs> Mummy's a bit stressed. Get back. <laughs> but I was just going out to say goodbye. Yes, I know. That's ridiculous. You can say goodbye inside. Get it, get it. They're not waving. Quick, quick. <laughs> they just waved, Mummy, and you'd run away. <laughs> oh, you're cold. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't like them leaving. I know. I like to see my call here. Philip got the very last chausson aux pommes in the boulangerie. What a hero. This is a classic. So Philip went to get bread and Amory went to get bread. I think for once we're okay. We should maybe some freeze some of it. Yeah. That's indication somehow. Pigeons sometimes don't fly in the right direction in this place. Yeah, the pigeons crossed. One went one way, one went the other way. <laughs> I'm happy though. I'm going to put some in the freezer. I can't believe this. There's been a massive boulangerie run and today's the day you're making pancakes. Oh, well. Just in case that we, we need something extra. No, forget the patisserie. This looks a hundred times better. Yeah. I thought that I could um, mm. give a little bit of uh, sweetness to everybody. <laughs> it's such a great day outside. So great and miserable. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going for lemon and yeah, sugar. It's really it's so good, Natty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amory, this is looking so good. Yeah. Filled in as though nothing ever happened. Once the gravel's over that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the gravel off until I cement the slabs. Because um, I got a slab with some pink yeah. pebbles on it. So yeah, it's it looks a bit blend. like the gravel. So it'll blend in quite yes. nicely. Yeah, once that's next to it. Yeah. Um, and where are they going? They're going to get all the pungus out. Yeah. Uh, you've got the light, then you've got the con then you've got the whisker box. 
What's a whisket box when it's at a whisker, home? Whisker box. Okay. It's a IP66 rated uh, junction box. So outside. it'll go on that, will they? So it'll go on that. Uh, three triple way goes connecting all the wires up together. So it'll be all waterproof and Oh, and fantastic. Tidy. I love the colour you chose. Yeah, it was lucky. We had some of the in the... Uh, at the builders merchants and i found these obviously these were all wet and that but uh mm. come summertime it, it's not so much they're going to be standing exactly out i'm going to cement them into the yeah. ground and they'll be obviously dug in a little bit so yes yeah, so they'll just be big. level with the gravel but it's got something solid for the uh, light to be secured to and then you've got the warning tape in i saw yeah yeah so the uh so you put that down first, so that if we're ever well, digging couple, anything else. You put a couple of inches down, so that whenever someone's digging... They know they're about to hit. Yeah. Superb job. It'd be nice and neat and tidy and, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got, I know which, which tail's doing what. Oh, you will. I have no doubt. It is the last day of the year, and I thought that we would have a little lunch together. You're just like stunned that you're going to be getting lunch. <laughs> this is a very big moment because with tomorrow being the first of 2023, it's time for New Year's resolutions. And I want to eat really healthily because I've done nothing but eat chocolates, biscuits, cakes, all sorts of fried food during Christmas. And I've loved every second of it. But it is time to take control. And I'm sure many of you feel exactly the same way, which is why I was really happy when HelloFresh offered to sponsor this video with an ad. This is the first time I'm ever using HelloFresh because here we're obviously so lucky. We have a vegetable garden. We can go and get our seasonal vegetables whenever we want. But I have loads of friends in London who use this all the time and they swear by it. And I cannot wait to try it out because what we don't have in our vegetable garden is curated menus for that week. So this week I have a box for six people with three different meals. They're all apparently very quick and easy to make. I've got fish and chips, my favorite. Ooh, conchilia pasta with mushrooms, rocket and Italian cheese. And actually, I think I want to do this one today, Philip. This looks incredible. Risotto style also with spinach and leeks. I love that. Everything I need already in neat little containers. There's my spinach, rocket, my onions, and everything's already the correct amount, which is quite exciting. I'm gonna get started. Are you okay with us using your kitchen? It would be a first for me. Yes, I know you never cook in here. This is so satisfying. So I prepared everything. I've just got to put the onion and the leeks that I've just chopped up in here. Adding the garlic to this. Now, Philip, this is a big moment we've both been waiting for. This is the little garlic grater that we bought at the Christmas market in Germany. It's a little plate and you can grate the yes. garlic straight onto it. And then it comes with that little brush. Oh, I see. Mm. All the bits in. Mm, to smell. Have you ever smelt anything cooking in this kitchen before? Never. Right? It's the first time this for everything. Is this is my type of cooking. In goes the orzo. I love orzo. Mm, it's going to be good, isn't it? And then this can go in for nine or ten minutes. And I like this more than making a risotto because I won't need to stir the entire time. It smells delicious. I'll just leave it to boil away. Now I'm adding all of the spinach. I'm going to wilt it through. Oh, this looks ridiculously good. At this point, half of the cheese goes in and we can just use the rest on top. But I have to stir all this together and that's it. A table, ladies and gentlemen. If only there was a tablet to go to. Give me two minutes. I'm really happy that we're finally using this. Do you know what? Mummy would never have used it if we hadn't come up here. Philip's going to use your coal port. Oh, how wonderful. Well, Mummy's in a really good mood today. Percy, this is all we need to do is come and cook in here every day. We're it's, doing well. It's just because I've been looking after her all morning to get her ready for the cooking. <laughs> And your glasses from Mummy? These are Rosenthal, and they were designed by Bjorn Wienblatt in, I think, the 50s or the 60s. And my family actually bought these glasses with the silver cutlery set. They had a set of 12 of everything. And then one day, the top shelf fell down. Oh, no. And broke all the subsequent shelves. <laughs> that happened to you, Percy, yes. didn't it? Exactly. It very famously I, happened to I Percy. I had a story the other day, and I thought, that's just my story. And <laughs> only you had to buy the entire shop, because you were in a shop. Well, yes, you know, all the glasses in the entire shop broke, fortunately. But everything, that every set that had, had broken. Break, I had to buy the rest. Wow. So that's sort of what happened to my family. They were left with one water glass and three red wine glasses, seven white wine glasses, because <laughs> they were just on the other side or whatever. No one wanted them. I ended up with them, and I'm trying to 
put the set back to a set of 12. And your mother bought me those for Christmas. The water glasses. Yes, I'm very happy with them. I love them. They are, are the gorgeous. Oh, good. Can we get some wine into them, Philip? Because I realise that, you know, this is an artistic yeah, moment for you. Table, and then you can put wine. Oh, honestly. Now, the instructions are to put the rocket here with just a little bit of olive oil. And now for the finishing touch. <laughs> Philip, I can just hear you in the background loving the table. Yes. Good, I hope it's ready, because we're definitely good to go. Oh, that is really ridiculously pretty. Right. Tree, wine, candles, flowers, a beautifully laid table, Philip's crystal, mummy's china, and a delicious meal. This is a good day. And the first lunch in this apartment. And considering the amount of months you've been here on and off, what does that say about my mother, Percy? It says that she's very frugal. She knows there's free food downstairs. Free food downstairs. <laughs> no, but this this has been a, a wonderful experience, yes. I bet you loved it. Yeah, you didn't I even do, have to cook I it. Do. The box arrives, yeah, the meal's done. The box is there, and all you have to do is put it together. <laughs> all you have to do is get your daughter to put it together. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you very much, Percy. I'm yes. very happy the first time using my Christmas present from you is with you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, let's hear the sound. That's an empty plate. Oh, yes. absolutely delicious. I loved using HelloFresh. I would use them again in a heartbeat. Everyone's a massive fan around the table now, especially going into the new year. If you want to have really fresh home cooked food, it's far healthier. It saves you a lot of time. It saves you money. It's cheaper than takeout and much cheaper than eating out in a restaurant. And the best thing is that the food arrives from the farm to your table in under seven days. So you can get the La Land experience that we get from walking out to our vegetable garden delivered straight to your home. And you can choose from a range of different menus it is really good fun as well and if you'd like to try it for yourself then go to hellofresh.com and use the code chateau diaries 21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping now we've got to go because our friends will be arriving any minute now for tonight's party philip's friends anna and tim are coming from the netherlands my friend marina who's been here before is coming back and also pilar jeremy and their son diego are arriving from burgundy they are absolutely adorable and there's a big party ahead of us it's so good to see you hello hello how are you doing really good come in come in thank you bienvenue à la la oui. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Lovely to see you. Mm. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Now the party can properly start. Oh no, Thor's got no feathers left. Tu es content avec les plumes? Oui. Tu vas les mettre où? Dans un vase. I think a lot of backcombing is going to need to be added to this because it can only have curled the very ends. I think I didn't tie it tight enough. There we go. And then I guess we just slip that out and oh! Oh, that's incredible! It has waved it! It's so easy to do. I couldn't feel it at all in bed, but at all. And as there's a party tonight, I thought I may as well just leave it today. But with a bit of back combing i can probably do something for the party tonight i like all the gold i didn't know you were doing gold so i'm quite happy because i definitely <laughs> definitely matched the table do you look incredible <laughs> it's the dress we found it's together like, in I've london to dynasty you know? <laughs> that's exactly what i was going for nice the 80s have come to Lanard. But tell me this is not your final look for the evening. Do you not like it? I do like it. I love sparkle. you in a cardi. There is sparkles. <laughs> no, oh, that was my Christmas present yes, to you. I really love it. Look, that's great, but we need more sparkle. Whoa, this is so 80s. Oh, this is so perfect. <laughs> I didn't realise we'd be having 80s food down here, so yeah, the dress is... It's actually not supposed to be 80s. There's this uh, a Spanish tradition, a Spanish New Year's tradition. And on the strokes of midnight, you're supposed to be eating grapes, 12 grapes. It's exactly 12. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. So... What a lovely tradition. It was uh, Pilar who came up with that. Well, not came up with that, but like, yeah. <laughs> who suggested us doing it. She brought all the grapes, all seedless, and put them in the containers for everyone. You just need to tell everyone to not eat them until midnight. midnight. I'm making quite retro nibbles because you know that at all parties I think retro nibbles are the best so smoked salmon, lump fish roe and this is a French liqueur and it's black raspberry and vanilla. Sounds amazing. It's supposed to be one part of this to six parts champagne. And you're just eyeballing it right? Of course. 
I love how you're using the martini glasses. Because they're prettier. I thought about it. I thought champagne coupe. No, I rarely get to use these. So it's a perfect opportunity. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Do you like a cocktail tent? What's happened? Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I just, I walked in. Yeah? Because I heard some something break and I heard some metal clinging. And then I realized <gasps> that's the spring. It was a jack in a box. Yeah. What, I, and was it lit, the candle? Yeah, it was. No. And that's the bit. That, and there's the candle. There's a, that, oh that's my the goodness, thing that's it went out. To keep it. <laughs> and then there's a thing on top like that that I haven't found yet. Do you know, I'm sure that's good and luck. Do you think good luck? Well, it's broken glass. Like, yeah. Like. Oh, so that's definitely good luck. 2023 is gonna break it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's yours. The thing on top? Yeah. Okay, right. all the pieces are there. Put it back together. <laughs> Luckily, um, that's not a very big set. There were only three glasses left. Yeah. So and the one next to it I really like. So yeah. it broke the right one. Cheers. <laughs> Second time lucky. Oh, yeah. Something exciting's happening over here. Well, I'm making mojito. Oh. But, and I have all the ingredients and I cheat a little bit because I never have any time. So I used two of these. Oh no. Mix, but then with fresh limes, fresh mint, Oi. extra rum, extra cane sugar. So basically, just to make me make more of it. Speed up the process. Exactly. I'm going to just give it a quick taste. It's going to be too sweet. sweet. I just know it with that. Well, I can add more. Don't worry, I'm into wine anyway tonight. There's a lot of lime in it though. Could use more rum, I think. Mm. Mm. This is smelling so good. Yeah. I hope it's okay. We find not very burnt. But this is what you cooked when we were with you in yeah, Burgundy. Yeah. But this time I did one not spicy for Philip. No, oh, thank you. Gambas and Oh. Oh. You just have to put it and eat it right away. That's music to my ears. <laughs> we have to eat them exactly. right away. Okay. <laughs> wow. Tim, oh, you made these. Yes. I did. They look so good and they smell so well, good. Hopefully they taste good as well. Stuck to the... Really got food from all over the world tonight. Oh, no way! Okay, the night gets better and better. Oh. So that's the Argentinian component of the meal. That's great. And Jeremy, you're in charge of the cheese board. Oh, yes. So is this you getting everything to this exactly is, the right? This is Le Mondo that I'm going to put in the oven soon. So it'll get warm oh, yes. and creamy and melty and squishy. <laughs> <laughs> All the good things. Exactly. Everybody has made something different for this. It really is the, the whole Lalan crew, everyone doing something different. Yeah. Natty, this is yours, isn't it? Yes. That's the tuna roll. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you did it as well. Oh, it was really good. And this time we, we tried to find um, the pastry in the supermarket and I didn't have any luck. So I have to make it again, but it was it's, it's easy. It looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, and you did the eggs as well? My mom made the devil eggs mm. uh, with the pate. Wonderful. And then my sister was in charge of the empanadas. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Andrew, I made the tortilla. Uh, yeah, the Spanish tortilla, which is really simple but really good, and also the shrimps that you already taste. Oh, yeah, the shrimps are incredible. Yeah. I did the very, very simple, very traditional retro canapes. You made the salads, Marina. Yeah, these are two very traditional Russian slash Soviet salads. Olivier, which literally every formerly Soviet family would have. Yeah. It's true, Maria made it last year. Yeah, it's so good. And Paulina from Ukraine also. Yeah, of course, it. absolutely. So we have a very, very international buffet tonight. Mm, very much so. I gosh, can't wait to start with the prawns. I see that you have tried the mojito. How was it? <laughs> very good, thank you very much. Oh, I'm not sure. Mommy does it the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you oh, having to chase it with me, <laughs> vodka. <laughs> I won't be offended, don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just that I don't take alcohol normally, so I'm, when I taste alcohol, it's quite Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. rum as well. So yeah. like, Whoa! <laughs> it's the moment I've been waiting for. The cheese has landed. Look how you cut it. <laughs> you like it? It's so good. These are little individual sauces. Amazing. It comes wow. from Pilar's town in Spain. It's very famous uh, manchego cheese. This is uh, goat cheese, goat cheese, bear, comté, and mondor uh, out of the oven. 
Yeah, all the greats. And obviously the famous pairing with garlic bread. I can't believe you made garlic bread now. Well, we've just finished the main course. It's to go with the cheese, obviously. Is this a Dutch thing? No. <laughs> this is a Lalande thing. Yes. <laughs> But you are famous for your garlic bread, to be fair. You look very happy with this. Everyone's favourite cheese. Oh la la. Je crois que c'est suffisant. No, no, don't be silly. Mummy, no, you need to try the manchego. Mais je lui j'en ai déjà mangé. Oh, this is your second round of cheese. J'adore le manchego. Yes, I love it. It's delicious, darling. And what about the garlic bread? It's all right. Ask are you going to tell Philip? You're going to break that news to him. I, I am married. I've got a, a husband. I've got oh, to protect him. Oh well, I think Philip will understand yes, that. I've got to protect him. My mother can't try your garlic bread because she has a husband. Our person have some as well. If they both have it, it's okay. That's a solution. If you're married, you can eat it. You should eat it. Oh, because once you've got the ring on. <laughs> if you, you want to eat uh, garlic bread, you, you should put a ring on it. <laughs> Well, I'm doing it. I'm going for the garlic bread. You better also be going for garlic bread, because I, I definitely that. am. <laughs> oh, you didn't check with me. There was no, oh, darling, are you having garlic bread? You've been together for three years, darling. <laughs> Brilliant, this is dead. <laughs> and the manchego. Conte. And I am definitely having more. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is how I want to see the new year in. <laughs> <laughs> He saw what I did. Like, I just took a look at her plate. Garlic and there bread is a, with a melted really big cheese. Wow. When you're married, you can do it. <laughs> Best reason to get married yeah. ever. You also cooked something. Yes. Yes, I cooked something. You put well, them I in just, the oven. I just put them out of the oven now, this minute. Well, I'll definitely have one then. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Oh. It's quarter to 12. I am going to get the bottles of champagne. We're being served a really lovely Spanish herb liqueur, which I'm quite interested to try. And of course, we have the 12 grapes that we have to eat, one at each of the strokes of midnight, which seems like a little bit too fast, actually, to eat grapes. There we go. I'll take two bottles through. It's very fun. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Adentro. Adentro. There's just four minutes left to go. We've made sure that everyone has a glass of champagne. My ring is half off because Pilar's just told me that if you put gold into the champagne, then you'll have a year filled with abundance. So that's definitely going in. It's grapes fast. Thank you. We're waiting. We have to put one every second in your mouth. How many people choke in Spain on the New Year's Eve? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mate, I've still got two left. I think I'm going to have two poor mums, but the rest should be good. Happy New Year, Mummy. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Stephanie. And a lot of gold. And diamonds. A lot of gold. Happy New Year, darling. Happy New Year. Don't take that away. <laughs> Feliz Año Nuevo. <laughs> Amory, I do have to show everyone your brooch in the new year. That was your present from your parents. And it's Phoebe. It's Phoebe's. That's I'm so thoughtful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Oh, I brought a tear to my eye when, when I'm I opened it. I'm not surprised. When I opened it, I looked at it and I realised what it was. And then Papa said, it's Phoebe's. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. <laughs> yeah, I got that. I got that. <laughs> no, it was a beautiful touch. I just thought tonight would be a cracking night to wear it. Yeah. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're having the best chocolate mousse. Anna, the chocolate mousse is amazing. Glad to hear this. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it is very, very late at night or perhaps very early in the morning. And I can honestly say it has been a glorious new year. Here's to 2023. <laughs>
like to say a special thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of Lalande, Megan Marino Feltman, Walter Plant, Tracy Truett, Ashley Wolf, and Crystal Hardy. And thank you to all of my patrons. It's because of all of you that this chateau is coming back to life, and we can imagine a warm, heated chateau next year. And lots of love to all of you who are watching. I can't wait to see you again next week. Until then, Happy New Year from Lalande.